Hey guys, it's Neville. As many of you guys know, the new Zeus free DLC was released the other day on the Arma 3 test servers. It's still up there right now if you guys want to go play it. I'm going to be testing it out for you guys. Keep in mind, I have no idea how to use it. I didn't watch the live stream. I don't know anything about it other than what I saw in the teaser. And I'm, compl I'm very excited to test this thing out. Also, keep in mind, I know nothing about how to script in this game. I have very minimal mission creation skills. Uh, it's... It's very minimal for me. I understand how groups work. I understand the absolute basics. So let's see how intuitive this design is. So if uh, anybody can step in and be Zeus, play Zeus effectively. We're going to play this uh, showcase. Hopefully it explains it pretty well. Uh, bear with me. I'm probably This is probably going to take a little while. I'm pretty... I've never played it before. So let's just uh, see how it goes. Zeus key is not assigned. Reset your controls. Assign... Open Zeus interface key manually in common category. Okay. Configure. Controls. Common. Open Zeus. Alright, let's see. What should we bind it to? Let's bind it to the up arrow. That's fine with me. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm freaking confused. Ping Zeus. Pinging Zeus. When playing a Zeus mission, not up to the role, but not up in the role of Zeus, press up to ping him. He'll receive a sound cue of your name and will be briefly highlighted. This will attract his attention towards the problem or opportunity ahead. Don't bother press with pressing up rapidly to spam Zeus as messages are only sent once per second. First H to hide and call this hand. Okay. Holy Jesus! Open the Zeus interface. First up to toggle the Zeus interface. It can be available in these two forms. Free Zeus is a soldier on the battlefield. You can at any time open the interface to create a mission but risk being killed. Forced, the interface is open automatically and cannot be closed during by pressing the key. Zeus is not represented in the world but is safe from any danger. Uh, while on this interface, press J to show the briefing on the tasks. Alright. Move camera. Uh, move with WASD, change altitude with Q and Z, just like a helicopter. To accelerate, normal stuff. Uh, F to view selected unit. N to toggle night vision. Space to move the camera to the last to, to the business room. Oh, space, that's cool. Backspace to toggle the interface. Okay. In some scenarios, area where you can move with the camera may be limited. While not visualized, you will recognize it upon reaching it. Alright. I'm trying to move the camera. Cannot exit the interface. Alright can move the camera a little bit. Alright, what's up dude? Okay, so now what? Can't go into the ground, that's good. Okay, uh, move the camera there. Hi, babe. What's up with you? I'm recording a video. Yeah, let me call you back in a few minutes. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Ah, what was that? Order marksman into editing zone. Rifleman. Placing waypoints. When an object with AI or for or huge soldier man vehicles is selected, you can give waypoints as opposed to placing objects. 
you can create a waypoint anywhere on the map no matter where the editing area is click left mouse button anywhere empty space <laughs> sorry to create a waypoint it will replace all existing waypoints hold left control while clicking to add an initial waypoint preserving the existing ones all right Click left mouse button anywhere on empty space. That's what I'm doing. Anywhere not on empty space. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Where is this guy fucking going? Move marksman on top of the tower. Click and drag left mouse button on an entity to edit it. When multiple entities are selected, all of them will be affected. Move around by default. Hold left to change the height. Hold on. Okay. Left alt to change its height. How do you tell where the waypoint is? That is really difficult to do because It just is like there's no like way to do 3D depth perception. Like I can't tell if I'm look like if I left click. Okay, first of all, it's deselecting, which is annoying. Okay, I place a waypoint. Right, I'm going to change this waypoint. I can't tell if I'm raising it up like a fucking mile or if I'm raising it up, you know, to the top of here. Like I don't want it to be on the tip top. I want it to be. Well, I do. That's really frustrating. I, it, that's not very intuitive, in my opinion. I don't care about that right now. Okay. I move the waypoint. Go over there. Just fucking go over there. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. So I can kind of drop them. There we go. Okay. Often missions will allow you to set specific en entity attributes. Double click on the entity. Objectives, health, health skill, field lock, call sign, comment information, comment with respect, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to make you a fucking colonel. Stand the fuck up, and you're going to be awesome. I'm going to make you a captain. Stand the fuck up, and you're going to be awesome. Group soldiers together. Okay. Hold left control, click left mouse button on an object and drag the line. 
Okay. Destroying and deleting. Sometimes you need to get rid of existing entities. Press end to destroy objects. Delete to delete entities. So, okay, end and delete. Objects can be destroyed or deleted only when in editing mode. Modules, waypoints, and other markers can be removed anywhere. Okay. No, stay up there. Oops. I'm pretty sure I fucked that up and just skipped through the tutorial and missed a lot of set. Zeus can now place entities in the scene. Scene editing, objects, soldiers, and... Soldiers, vehicles, and objects can be placed only in the editing area. Groups of objects well, it can be placed anywhere. Okay, so modules can be placed anywhere. Markers can be placed anywhere for free. Place a slide. Pick a side. Blah, blah, blah. No, I need to see that again. Click left mouse button on the ground to place an entity. Hold left control when placing while clicking left mouse button to continue with placing afterwards object cost is previewed in the resource bar on the top of the screen two expensive entities are grayed out and cannot be placed okay uh... Let me just, just give me an auto rifleman basic group Okay, special forces, HMG team, oh shit. What am I doing now? Zeus into these. Uh, destroy enemy UAV, delete enemy UAV. Place a soldier. Place a group. Place lightning on an enemy. Lightning on enemy APC. Okay, how do I do that? Lightning. Oh god. Oh god. Um, effects. Lightning. He just got wrecked! What? Zeus smited? Zeus is not a fan of you? Alright, what does Tracers do? <laughs> oh god, it's a lightning storm, get out of here! Zeus gets his power back real quick. Let's see. Create, and then there's edit. Alright, so I can create markers, destroy. Oh, mission completed. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I feel like we only scratched the surface. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out how to place like raise and lower objects. I thought they meant place the waypoint on the roof when they actually meant place the physical people on the roof. I thought that they wouldn't allow that because it would be so a little OP being able to just pick somebody up and throw them in the air, you know? But that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Finish that up. Now I think I might 
try and just sit and do it by myself, but I'm going to do that by myself. I'm going to practice with a little bit, and then I'll uh, come back and probably make a second video for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Zeus showcase. Uh, you don't That way you don't have to sit here and play this or showcase yourself. You can just see what I did. I mean, I recommend playing it yourself, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm just going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, this is Devil. Yesterday I actually got to meet with the famous Rhino Crunch, hop in his team speak, and he set up a server, and we played a few games of Arma 3. It was a blast. Things get a little bit out of control. I hope you guys enjoy the video.